Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. In this video I want to show you how to reset a password from a Cisco ASA 5500 series, 5500. Um, as you can see here on the screen, uh, there is a full range of uh, small devices to very big devices, from a, so from a 5505 to a 5585. The biggest one is uh, the 40 gigabit per second uh, throughput and uh, 350k connections per second. I have a small device with me, the Cisco ASA5505. So, but in, on every uh, series, it's the same to reset the device. Okay, so before you start, you need two things a console cable, a Cisco, and a program to connect with the uh, console. It's uh, most of the time I use Putty. So if you don't know Putty, just go and uh, type it in Google. Putty. The first link you run into is uh, the download page. Here you can download the .exe file or the zip file, or you can run the installer here. The other one was the uh, Cisco console cable. If you don't have one, uh, you can buy one um, at eBay or Amazon and very cheap. There are a lot of, lot of them available. So uh, it has one connection is the COM port connection for your laptop or PC. And the other one is a UTP connection, a sort of UTP connection which goes back at the device to uh, connect it. If you don't have any COM port connections on your laptop or PC, you can use a, a USB to COM port converter, which works just fine. Okay, so if you have all that connected, fire up uh, Putty, choose Serial, mine was on 3, and now you're in the console connection. So uh, I want to show you, um, go to enable prompt, that I have no idea what my password is anymore. See, already access is night. Okay, so it's, you don't know it. What to do? First of all, um, power of the device again. And power it back up. Okay, you see it booting now, and you can hit the break or escape key to interrupt the boot. So it says it's here, interrupt the boot. Now, you're in a Robmon prompt, and here you can change the configuration value uh, from which to boot. So, uh, if you type in conf reg, then you will see the current configuration registry, it's important to document this register value so later we can change it back to its original value. You can sh keep the short version 0x1 so you don't need to all the zeros. Then it will ask you a few questions. Um, do you want to wish to change this configuration? Yes. Enable boot prompt? No. TFTP netboot? No. Flash boot, no, also no, and this is an important one, disable system configuration, type yes. If you don't do it, then the enabled password will be still on the device. Also, it won't work and it will change another value in the registry. So the rest we can type no, 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 there. You can see that it's the current configuration registry now is 00x0000040 or the short version 0x40. Okay, the registry uh, config is changed. Now we have to boot the image because for the moment there is no image loaded. So, uh, my image will be loading ASA901-k8.bit. So, it will take a minute or so to boot the new, uh, the, the original file. We will wait for it. In a 
few seconds you will see the uh, text coming up. There we go. And there it goes. You'll see a lot of text flashing by. Okay, there we go. Now, go to enable prompt. Password should be blank, so hit enter. There we go. Now, important step, you have to copy the startup configuration to your running configuration. Because you want to change the startup configuration's password from the enable password. So, at the moment there is nothing in, in loaded in it. So, copy it. Destination, yes. And because we're already in enable prompt, you can go directly to conf t. And now you can set password, sorry, password. Let's keep it simple, uh, Cisco. And enable password, also keep it simple, Cisco. If you have any users, you can type in username, let's say user admin, password, if you also forget, and then password. Okay, now we change the password. We have to save this configuration. So copy, run. I'll do it in a short way. Oh, sorry, I forgot to enter. There we go, it's saved. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot a step. Sorry. First, you have to change the registry back again. You can't type config. You have to type in config register and then the value you documented in the first step. Now you have to change, save the running configuration to the start configuration. There we go. Okay, now reload it to show you uh, that it's definitely works. Confirm, yes. Again, it will take a minute to boot, but just leave it running. I hit space to boot immediately, as you can see here in the text, hit space to boot immediately. 10 seconds faster. Uh, sorry, that's my mail. Don't mind that. I should turn off my phone if we do these videos, uh, sorry about that. Okay, there it goes, uh, it's booting. Okay. Reading from Flash. Okay, let's try it if it's worked. So type enable. Password should be Cisco now. And there we go. We're inside. Show run. That's it. Now you can start configuring the device with your own configuration. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment.